Hey Randy, let's try this build together thing from Bricklink Studio. So first thing is you gotta sign in to Bricklink. Once you do, you'll have this drop down under your username giving you the option to build together. Click it. There's a round green button which says push to close. Push to close, okay. Push it. You can host or join a session. Let's look at hosting a session. Easy enough. Name your build and hit host, right? Well, not so fast. You see, that IP address is the IP of your device on your network, not your IP out on the World Wide Web. So if you're trying to connect with people on the same network as you, this is fine. But if you're hoping to build with friends outside your house, this isn't going to cut it. For that, you're going to need port forwarding. Back in the early days of consumer internet usage, people didn't have networks. Chances are they only had one online enabled device, a single PC. This PC would connect to the internet directly through a modem. So your IP address would point traffic to that modem and consequently the only device connected to it, your PC. Now if you throw a network into the mix, things get complicated. The way a network is set up, the modem connects first to a router, bringing internet traffic to the network router before sending it along to all the various devices connected to it, your PC, your mobile phone, your Xbox, your refrigerator. A single network might have a lot of connected devices. So when you give your IP to a friend who wants to connect to you on your computer, how do they get through to the right device? That's where port forwarding comes in. If you've ever set up a Minecraft server or other gaming servers, you might already be familiar with this process. I'll walk you through it, but keep in mind the exact process differs based on your network setup and router. The goal here is to put a rule on your router that says if traffic is coming in on this particular port, send it to this particular device. Copy your IP and port info from Bricklink Studio. You'll use it later. Remember, this IP is the IP of your device on the network, and the port is the port you're going to forward to this device. You'll need access to your router settings. You typically do this by going to your router address in a browser window. It might be something like 192.168.0.1. Usually this information is posted on the router itself. Go to the address and log in. Now you can change your router settings. You're going to want to look around for port forwarding options. I don't know where it is on your router, but it's right here on my crappy ISP provided one. You can probably Google your router to find out where it is if you're having trouble locating it. Now for the port, you're going to put 6190. Then the IP address of the device you want to send traffic to. This is the IP that showed up when you started the session. And depending on your network settings, it could change from time to time. Save, apply, and you're good to go. Any internet traffic hitting your IP address on this port will send it to the PC running Bricklink Studio. Oh, but then you'll need to know your IP address to give out to your friends. There are many ways to find your IP address. I prefer just Googling it. Take that number and give it over to your friend. Then all your friend has to do is enter the IP address and the port under join. If you're both signed into Bricklink with a working internet connection, then it should work. You don't see any clear indicator or alert that they're online, but there is a chat window which shows who's connected. You can also use this to communicate. Hey Randy, see you soon. I hope people out there found this useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you're still having problems with Bricklink Studio, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer questions in the comments or maybe we can answer them in a future video. Thanks for watching.